the everlasting Father, the King Eternal, wonderful in wisdom, by whom all things were made. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we come before your presence tonight. Oh God, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you, oh God, that in you we live and have our being. And so, Lord, as we come before you tonight under this big tent once more, oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that self will be slain. Oh God, I pray, oh God, that flesh will not glorify before you, but your name will be exalted tonight. Oh God, I pray tonight that the Holy Ghost will take a stand. Oh God, as we know that the anointing breaks and destroys the yokes. Oh God, I pray that you will sit upon the moderator tonight. Oh, God, separate her in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, as she stand before you, oh, God, to lead this proceeding. Lord, we pray for every bishop, every officer, hallelujah, of this movement. We pray, oh, God, that your anointing will be upon them. Your wisdom will be upon them in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh, God, for the choirs. Oh, God, for everyone that come under this tent in the name of Jesus. We pray tonight, oh, God, that burden will be lifted. Oh, glory be to God. Somebody will understand that our hand clapping is a weapon tonight. Oh, God. Somebody will understand tonight that lifting our hand, oh, God, it is a weapon of pulling down strongholds. Mighty God. Hallelujah. I pray, oh, God, that we will not underestimate our worship tonight. We come here to tear down the devil's kingdom. We come here, oh, God, to loose and liberate and set Free. Oh, glory be to God, a captive soul. Revive the church one more time. Revive us. That as we pray tonight, oh God, sinner will tremble at the name of Jesus. As we pray tonight, oh God, backsliders will return. Oh God, there will be a shift in the community of Lona. Oh God, there will be a shift on social media. Lord, have your way tonight. Have your way, Lord. Bring down, hallelujah, the things that is unlike you. Oh, God, hallelujah, separate the things that is not of you. Let your name go forth in power tonight. We honor you and we count it done in Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hand and give praise. Come on, church. Clap your hand and give praise. Psalm 34, there shall be showers of blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 1 and 4. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of love.
as the choir will be coming in. Praise God. Showers of blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Here I begin. And the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. That I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. Then answered I, and said, So be it, O Lord. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. And the Lord said unto me, A con conspiracy is told among the men of Judea and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Therefore thus say the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape, 
and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. For according to the number of thy cities were the gods, O Judea, and according to the numbers of the street of Jerusalem, have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. 14. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Praise the Lord. Amen. Here ended a portion of God's true and holy word and he promised to add his richest blessings here to hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. At this time we're going straight into our testimony service. Praise God. We'll invite one from the home choir, one from the visiting choir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way. Mighty long way.
Saints of God, what a lady said to me when she saw the baby, the baby was blue because I had a C emergency C-section. And she said when she saw the baby come up to the children while the baby was blue, Saints of God, when I go there, the kid kidney was swell, Saints of God, the liver was swell, there was two holes in the baby heart, Saints of God. And you know, Saints of God, when I get the baby to go home, I said, I'm not taking home this child. I remember the, the Shunammite woman, Saints of God. And I went with that baby down to my elder, Elder Casey Miller. And I said to him, I said, sir, I want you to place the, this baby on the side of the bed that you sleep on. And I want you to blow up on him. I want you to stretch out on this child, saints of God. And when I went and I go, go and do all the tests that they told me to do, saints of God. All the tests, they were negative, saints of God. When I went and I give the doctor the result, she turned to me and she said, you're okay for now. I said, the blood of Jesus is against the saints of God. Let me tell you, saints of God, they say that child, they don't know if he would walk. They don't know if he would talk, saints of God. Today, that child is four years old, going to school. Saints of God, that child come home. And he's telling me, Bible verse, he said, Mommy, name and deep. Saints of God, and he said, name and deep and name and come out clean, clean, clean. I said, who could that be? But Jesus, saints of God. God, he is God. And I said, trust in Jesus. Take him at his word. It doesn't matter what the doctor say. They can say what they say because they live by sight. But we live by faith, saints of God. Trust in God. Because when the devil say no, King Jesus say yes, and his word is final. Saints of God, I pray now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to give God thanks and praise. Hallelujah. That I could ever to be in this house one more time to lift him up. Praise God Almighty. God is good all the time. Praise God Almighty. It is amazing what praises can do. Praise God. You know, brethren, sometimes when I walk the street, praise God Almighty. People may look at me. They say I don't look no way different from when I was growing up. Praise God. And I could say it took the blessing of the Almighty God. Praise God Almighty. But if you don't know, praise God, what you do unto others, praise God, you get a blessing. Praise God. How you cheat people. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said when he was in prison, you visit that. He was sick and you do nothing, praise God. He was hungry, you feed him that. But brethren, it's just the people around. Who you take care of? Who you attend to? Praise God. You just pray me up. Why I pray for my name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I am here, I am burning. Hallelujah. I remember we have a meeting done by the church and I got another phone call that um, Summer warrant is out for Brother Danny, the doctor. And I went down here and I talked about it and Bishop called the brethren, you know, and they gather around and they pray. And brethren, let me tell you something. God do it again. Amen. Everything cancelled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It must be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I was here last night, you know, because of his illness, I can't get to go to church as often as I want to go. But I have Jesus, you know, and I know him from way back. You know, I'm not going to give up in spite of the circumstances that surrounded me, I'm just going to hold on. And uh, a sister is there all the way from Witton helping me out. God bless missionary Simit that pop on sometime there. God is good. Hallelujah. And I said, Sister Clark, you can go, you know. 
because I have an appointment to bring Brother Danny to the doctor today. She said, Sister Night, go. And I I went, I come here last night and I sit down right here. And while the preacher, the um the bishop from England, you know, he was he calling out, like he said, five person, get up and come. I make the attempt to go. But you see, fear, fear will cripple you. Hallelujah. And I sit down here. Hallelujah. And when he was there praying, I hear him talk about fibroid or whatever. You know, I don't know if I have it. I didn't went to the doctor and he told me that. But sometimes I just, my tummy, you know, just, you know, big and whatever. And how I feel. And while I was here sitting down, I said, I have to come here tonight to share this testimony. Because God is a miracle working God. I just feel something just coming. My tummy just going up, coming down. And I was trying to hold myself on the seat. And I feel it, the feeling again, like something pulling up out of my belly. Hallelujah. 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 And Bridget, let me tell you something. I went to my bed last night and I get up this morning in tears. I don't feel that way anymore. My tummy just feel like, you know, I'm just a brand new tummy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I feel the power of the Almighty God touch me last night. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I know there is no secret what God can do. What you have done for others. He will do it for you. You just pray my strength. You call Shabbat Shalom. I'll be coming. 
endure it forever. Hallelujah. Shall we bless the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Shall we worship that true and living God? And for that time, I will say He's all over me and He's keeping me alive. God bless you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we lift your hands everywhere and worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Is he worthy to be praised? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Tonight I can say, I'm not sorry. I'm answered the master's call over 40 years. And I'm saying I'm proud to be a one God.
his extended blessings to us all. We are on the grounds tonight, another night. Some of you say it's the fifth session. We understand that well because we are here from Sunday in the day. All right. So we give God thanks to be together another night. Put your hands together. It didn't have to be like this. Put your hands together and give the Lord praise. Give him thanks. And if you fail to understand that you are more fortunate, can you take a visit over the hospital? Can you go around the, the, the jailhouse? Can I talk to somebody? Can you walk up to the infirmary in Santa Cruz and see what some people have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis? And you are in your right mind. Hallelujah. You are in your right mind. Might have a little complaint now and then, but give him thanks. Somebody said, look what the Lord has done. Put your hands together and worship the Lord. To our ministers on the platform, greetings, greetings to everyone. We'll have roll call later on, but greetings for now. And the veteran bishop, Bishop Keith Williams, still backstage. And in a while we'll get him on stage. Now we worship the Lord. And it's good to see the preacher marching in the house. Set somebody's mind at ease. If you have the responsibility, then you would understand what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, it's good to see the choir on my right and left and center. Ah, uh, put your hands together for them tonight. It's Wednesday night live and so I want to greet everyone, those from inland, those from overseas that sacrificed their time to be here, those in the vicinity, community, we bless God. Home choir, you're doing well so far. Don't believe I'm not taking a check. Taking a check. And you're doing well so far. We are happy to see the other choirs coming in and joining you. And it's strengthening you. You're pretty up tonight. I ask the question why, but I understand why. Nothing is wrong to pretty up. Can we praise him, everybody? Can we praise him? We have some wonderful people that is online with us. We want to give a shout out to them and those that make their gesture as from time to time in their own way. England, Canada, US, name it. We bless God for you and continue to support. We are looking for your support. The God of heaven bless you and we ask you to share the link because we want others to join us. Can we worship the Lord? Or right, let me do a quick roll call and we roll from here as time will not wait for anybody. Bible Way family is in the house. The Bible Way family, we ask you to stand and worship the Lord. Come on, church, worship the Lord with them. Church of Jesus Christ, speculation is here with us another night. We ask them to stand and be acknowledged quickly. Come on, let the church worship the Lord with them. Evangelist Watson and Saints Vineyard UPC is in the house. We ask them to stand and worship the Lord. <laughs> Can we bless God? Pastor Wellington Choir and Saints. And of course, we, I, I see my friend here uh, is in the house. Whiteley. Whiteley is in the house tonight. We bless God for you. Can we worship the Lord? We worship the Lord. <laughs> That's Mount Pelia. All right. And of course, I don't know how they do it, but they are doing it good so far, and they always do it. Bishop Keith Williams and the Faith Emmanuel family still in the house, and we applaud them. 
Come on, praise the Lord with them. Worship the Lord with them, church. Community members, Luana, and the adjoining district. Not a part of the church yet. Somebody said soon to be. We ask you just to raise your hands wherever you are visiting. Just raise your hands. Church, worship the Lord with them. Amen. Worship the Lord with them. Uh, am I leaving any other church that is not on my list? Yes? Help me. Yes, I'm, I'm coming to. Elder Graham, while I'm saying They are right before me here. Yeah. Anybody else that is not on my list, stand and worship the Lord. You're not here. Look here, man. You come over here already. Long time. Yes. And we have Evangelist Adams from the UPC Black River. Heaven's Way Tabernacle. We ask them to stand and worship the Lord. Worship, worship for all of them, brother. Can we worship the Lord, church? Can we worship the Lord, everybody? Pastor Sharon Miller is still here with us. Bishop Bennett, who took away the show last night. And uh, his name will ever be called. Stand, I didn't see you. Stand and worship the Lord. Can we worship the Lord with her? He'll talk. Pentecostal, you are here. Stand and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord. Evangelist Duhaini, you are here. Worship the Lord. Just wave your hands. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oxford UPC is in the house. We ask them to stand and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we worship the Lord with them? My friends are here, Holy Redeemed Church of Jesus Christ, Bishop Henry, Missionary Henry and the Saints. I think they are here. Holy Redeemed. Can we worship the Lord, everybody? And of course, I mentioned Pastor Graham. A friend of the church, a friend of the community is here. And I want to applaud him for taking time out to be here. I, I speak of no other than Councillor Dwight Salmon, Black River Division. Is he in the house? Come on, can we worship the Lord with him? Can we worship the Lord with him? All right, Councillor, we thank you for taking time out to be here tonight. God bless you. Any other that I'm, apart from the region that I'm leaving out, let me run on. All right, God bless you. Put your hands together. The Western region of the Apostolic Ark, stand and be identified. Region, stand. Who is not standing? Who is not standing? Besides, somebody is reminding me that Elder Pastor Mackenzie, Simon Mackenzie, is in the house. I did see that. Yes. But let me do it again. It's good to have the preacher. Thank you, Bishop. Pastor Simon Mackenzie is in the house, and we bless God for him traveling 
all the way from Manchester to be here. Can we worship the Lord? <laughs> Living, He loved me. Died, He saved me. Buried, He carried my sins. Rising, He justified, freed me forever. Come on, help me sing it one more time. Special greetings to Bishop Williams and all the saints of God. God has been good. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. It doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Thank you very much, Elder. Can we worship the Lord? Evangelist Adams, come along quickly. Can we worship the Lord? Can we worship the King of Kings on the Lord of Lords? Let me greet the Spirit of God, head of my life. I greet host pastor Bishop Miller, all the rest of my associates, saints, friends, little children, those who are viewing life. I greet you in the precious and holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is a good time for one to be saved through the infilling of the Holy Ghost, through repentance of your sin, through bearing the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and live a good and sober life. The day will come when you don't have this chance. And tonight I'm saying, it is your chance to seek and claim salvation. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Evangelist Adam, somebody lift a praise on this choir. Come on, do it one more time. I switch over this side. Can we worship over here? Sounding good. One more time. In the middle there, can we get a worship from you? Time. Hallelujah. God bless you. 
returns. Greetings in Jesus' name. Come on, church, give God a praise. Somebody love him. Amen. The message doesn't change tonight. Greetings to everyone. Hallelujah. God wants us to listen to him. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It is better to obey God than to give him the sacrifice of fool. Hallelujah. God wants us to obey him. He wants us to cease from conspiracy. Oh, glory be to God. When we conspire against God, it can be devastated. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have a burden in my heart for two persons who requested prayer. I listen to that testimony and it is running in line. Can somebody take on or adapt one person? You don't even have to know the person. There's a young man that asks us to pray here. And we're going to pray later on. I'll do something on his behalf. But there's two persons that need a breakthrough. Can somebody believe with me? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Somebody believe with me, church. For a breakthrough for two persons who have requested us to pray. And we are going to believe God. We heard some strong testimonies and it does not end there. We are going to take on some more. And the widely come say greetings to Jesus. Can we lift our hands to praise the Lord, everybody? Amen. Can we lift our hands to praise the Lord, everybody? Amen. 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 That's much better. God is good. It's good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. And we're taking time to bring greetings to our friend Bishop Miller. Amen. To the veteran Bishop Williams. Amen. It's on the battlefield. To all the other ministering brethren here. Yes, people. God bless the choiristers, musicians. And those who are online, God bless you, those who are here. I, I won't try to repeat the theme. It's a little bit lengthy. But I know I should listen. And I should obey me. And pay attention. And don't follow the stubbornness of your evil heart. And immediately my mind go to 1 Samuel 15 and 23. The Lord said to Saul, Utterly destroy all the Amalekites. What did he do? He listened but he never obeyed. Then when we get to 1 Samuel 15, 23, Samuel said to him that rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Oh, God Almighty. And stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry. God said, because you have rejected my word, I have rejected you as king over my people. For the people under this tent tonight, listen, listen, listen. When the preacher preached the word, listen. Be obedient so you can find place in the kingdom of God tonight. God bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Striking up a strong note here. God bless you. A, a missing phone. A phone that is misplaced. Anybody find it, bring it up. And those who have lost, if you can identify then we will give up. Don't come and say, make the last of words on, you can't describe it. All right, so, a missing phone, if you find it, bring it up quick. Somebody has lost their phone. It has a floral casing. Bishop Keith Williams, a word. Shall we praise the Lord again, everybody? Just the sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him as his word. Just to know that Jesus can deliver you. Just to know that he saves. Just to know that he died for you. Just to know that he's coming back to receive you again. That where he is, you will be. Come on, give God the praise again. Another time praising. 
We are out here on his word. Amen. Praising the Lord God of hosts. Amen. And I want you to take it serious. Listen. I say listen. And then hearken and obey. God bless you. Strong advice. People, listen. You have been advised strongly. Can we worship the Lord? Can we worship the Lord? All right, we are going to do something that is customary to do. I'm going to invite Elder Wooden to come. The weather is not this time, but I'm going to invite him to come and take this slot. Take this slot, and we will have the Carriage Group Choir Minister in here this time. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. There is a song that says you have good days and bad days. This is one of my bad days, but I won't complain. It's off in time. And I'm not going to tax it. I'm following what I see a couple nights ago. I'm following going that same trend. Bring us your best offering. And your best should be good enough. And I'll tell you something while you're getting into your bag, your purse, your pocket. I notice that every time I give, I receive. And sometimes what I receive, I have to look up to God and ask myself a question. God has been good. Bring me some special offering to me. Yeah. I am so good, some of you are in my position. Which one? Yeah. I have a good Bring me some good offering. And don't let me stand up out here too long. Do you hear me? Don't let me stand here. God bless you, Pastor. For too long. Don't want to stand up for too long. You notice what is happening in the example is set up here. Come quick. Let's do this real quick so we can get a word. During the nights that I'm here, I notice sometimes after we preach a preach, you don't have any time to tarry with anybody at the altar. And I think that is one of our main reasons why we are here. Thank you very much. Thanks. And so we'd love to hear somebody speaking in tongues. And we would love to hear somebody say, I want to go to the pool. Because there's a pool at the back. You won't be able to warm the water for you, but you'll have to take your baptism with that school or warm. I want to call your brother here. You know. I want you from Sunday coming in. I want to pick you up as a brother. He is, thank God. I never know that. All right, that's very good. Anytime there's a change, you know, you know. I didn't know, but I see a change in him. Come along, folks, let's do this real quick. Don't tell me that the weather make your hand cold that you can't get in your pocket. Thank you. We'll take pound, we'll take CI, we'll take Canada, anyone you have with you. Thank you very much. All right, while the choir is lining up, continue to come. And those that didn't want to come, 
that we can see that you're coming up in single file, then you come up when everybody else is coming and bring your best offer. Because books choir will be coming. Usher's line up yourself. Thank you very much. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, God. Hallelujah, he's worthy to be praised. Bless the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I will make the darkness light.
you know. Giving God thanks. We are the one that has given. We trust that the Lord will bless you. When I look at the choir marching alone, I wonder to myself if you are a free being. You are as fit as a figure. And sometimes when I get into church and I move, it's not because of me. Hey, of course, I am. But it's the cause of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for your offering to do. Remain standing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you. We thank you for these gifts. We thank you for the givers. We pray, God, that you bless them. Bless their going out. Bless their coming in. Help that their storehouse never go empty. And that as they come and give night after night, they will see the result before the weekend. Bless and sanctify the suffering, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Back to the shop now. Thank you very much. Elder Goody, thank you and thank you for the choir that ministered to us. Let's raise your hands and give the Lord thanks. Come on, little better than that. God bless their ministry. And for those who have given, your storehouse, your storehouse will not be empty. The Lord promise a blessing. Without relenting, let me invite and make welcome the choir of Mount Heaven. We ask them to come and minister just now. Teachers come. Come along, make them welcome, church, make them welcome, make them welcome. Worship the Lord in this house tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just worship the Lord with us while we do this song. I will minister this song to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We worship the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, you are worthy, hallelujah. The blood that Jesus shed.
of another spoon is blood his blood it was precious blood for it was the sins of man for his blood heal my body and set my spirit free Shout, I'm still looking. Amen. Praise his name. Begin at verse 1. Bible should read like this. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. He sought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the purse because he was little in stature. And he ran before him and climbed into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. He made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I will give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man, by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Jesus said unto him, This day salvation come to thy house, for as much as he also is a son of 
Abraham. Father, we pray, Lord God, that you speak to the hearts of your people tonight. I pray, Lord God, that your words will come forth with convincing and convicting force. Father, we ask that only you be glorified in this house that self be totally slain. We give you the honor, the glory, and the praise, and we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name, you will receive the Lord's church. Praise his name. Amen. Peace be unto you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. You have bless us and call us into this holy calling amen he is the greatest god beside him there is no other he's in a class by himself and is incomparable he cannot be compared to no other god amen god is so great ladies and gentlemen that he doesn't have the ability to improve the god that we serve just simply can't get better amen he only operates at his best but praise his name. Amen. So we certainly give him glory for tonight and thank him. Amen. For his grace. Want to take time out. Amen. To be the leadership. Amen. Of this great church. Amen. Bishop Miller. God bless you, sir. Amen. Also to Reverend Miller and to Amen. My brother and friend. Amen. The only man in here that's that's up here that's taller than me. Amen. Praise his name. Reverend Gooden. To all the other pastors, amen, mighty men of God, to my brother and friend, my namesake, amen, the right reverend Simon Whiteley, amen, praise his name, amen, and to his lovely wife, I'm sure I see her, she was singing, the blood, praise the Lord, amen, good to see them, amen, to all the wonderful saints, Amen. From that side in Mount Pelly. Good to see you, Naomi. Amen. I still sure do love you. Amen. We go way, way, way back. Amen. God bless you. Amen. To Pastor Wellington. Amen. To the wonderful singing choirs. You bless my heart. Amen. Tonight, put your hands together for all the choirs. Amen. Praise His name. To all of God's wonderful people. And amen. How can I greet and not greet? Amen. Praise his name. The man of God is Talawat. Amen. I always say that there comes a time when the lion gets old and he doesn't have much bite left. But every animal in the animal kingdom knows that when the lion roar, it means something and you must respect the roar. And so we respect the role of the one, the only, Bishop Keith Williams in the house. Amen. And tonight, put your hands together. Amen for the Lord of God. Amen. Praise his name. Amen. Give God thanks for those who journey with me from Mandible. Amen. Tonight, God bless you. Amen. I'll talk to you for a few minutes. When I came in and I saw Reverend Whiteley coming in, I asked him, what am I doing here? And I was wondering if they made a mistake. Amen. And, and just mess up the silence. Amen. <laughs> Praise his name. The good thing tonight, I can drop the mic at any point, And I know that he's able to grab it and do a way better job than me. Amen. So it's really good to see him in the house. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, 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 I was sought in the Lord. Got up this morning about, amen, 3 a.m. And I was really praying and sought in the Lord. I said, Lord, I want. I want a word to, to talk to your people. Amen. Praise his name tonight. Praise God. Tomorrow we go to St. Andrew, but we're focusing on tonight's assignment. Amen. And while, while I was praying and, and I was sharing the word with my wife, amen, I, I, this thought came to me, I'm going out on a limb. I'm going out on a limb. And I, I couldn't understand what it meant and, and until the Lord would open up the text. Amen. We're going to talk. We're going to try to explain a few verses and then we go home. Amen. Praise the Lord. Also want to greet those who are viewing. Amen. By way of social media. Amen. I'm sure that members from our church in Manville is watching and my wife should be on. My daughter is sleeping. Amen. But I'm sure that my wife is on so I greet her well in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's get in the word for a few moments. Amen. I not so young anymore when I was 
when I was going in the car since, since night. As I stepped in the car, I, I felt a little pain in my, my knee. And uh, one of the brothers said to me, Pastor, you need to admit that you're getting old. And I said to him, maybe it's time enough I start admitting it. And I reminded him that he was older than I. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I, I, I try to spend more time in, in teaching the word. Amen. And, 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 and if the Lord give us strength, we might shout a little bit. But we want to spend time in, in trying to explain the word of God. Is that all right? Amen. I have been looking on your life and I know that you've had some really good preachers. And the good thing about me, I don't try to compete with preachers. Amen. I just try to do a little better than I did the last time. Amen. Praise his name. I'm going out on a limb. I'm going out on a limb. Amen. It, it pushes us to a place of, of desperation, of, of, of strong desires. Amen. Uh, when a woman has a child growing inside of her, amen, she has to alter some things on the outside to facilitate what's on the inside. Uh, she has to change some things about her externally to facilitate what's happening internally. Or oh, praise his name. Uh, for most part, she has to change her appetite. She has to change her attitude. And she has to change her attire. She has to change the way she dresses. And the way she eats. And the way she acts. And because truth is, you are training the child that's on the inside. And so you've got to change some stuff on the outside so that the child on the inside can be facilitated. Remember when uh, my wife was pregnant with, with our daughter, I, I immediately, a uh, reverend rightly, began to shop for her in a different kind of way. You know, I just give her anything she wants, but there came a time when I said, honey, you can't have that. You can only have this. Oh, praise his name. Because I was trying to deal with things on the outside. That will help the growth of what is on the inside. Oh, praise his name. Oh, praise his name. And so it is in the same way, ladies and gentlemen, salvation on the inside demands alteration of the outside. We tend to say that we are saved, but we do not want to adjust anything on the outside to facilitate salvation on the inside. You're not really saved on the inside if it is not being reflected on the outside. Oh, praise his name. And so then we should yearn to look like who's on the inside. Or oh, praise his name. You should yearn to discipline yourself on the outside so that what is on the inside can be nurtured and amen. You are reflecting on the outside what is on the inside. I'm not in your, my, your, my touch your neighbor moment yet, but if you could touch your neighbor, ask your neighbor, do you have anything growing on the inside? It's not hard for you to know. You just need to look at them on the outside. And you can tell if anything is growing on the inside. Oh, praise his name. A lot of people knew when my wife was pregnant by just looking at her nose. I wish I was in the right church. Praise his name, somebody. You just look on the outside and you know something is happening on the inside. Oh, praise his name. And so then, salvation being on the inside, ladies and gentlemen, salvation is not just how you feel about Jesus, but it's really how you feel about people. Oh, Lord, help me. 
it's, it's not just how you feel about Jesus, but it's how we treat each other. Yeah. It's one thing to say I'm madly in love with Jesus, but it's another thing to reflect Jesus on the outside. How do we deal with each other is really what salvation is about. So you're so saved, you're so sanctified that you ain't even talk to your neighbor. <laughs> I wish I was in the right church. You are so anointed, so blessed, and so filled with the Holy Spirit that you don't have no time to call to nobody. Because you're so locked into your anointing. Uh, and you think you are saved when you're really selfish. Amen. And so we have got to separate salvation from being selfish. Oh Lord, have mercy. I, I want to be saved, so I don't even want to talk to nobody after church. When church is over, I just want to jump in my ride. I just want to go home. Honey, I don't want to fellowship with nobody. I don't want to be with nobody because I'm trying to stay safe. You ain't really safe if you don't deal with people. Or praise his name. At the real test of a child of God happened when you learn to handle people who have mishandled you. You've got to learn how to deal with people kindly, even when they dogged you the day before. You know that you're filled with the Holy Ghost and you're saved when you handle people well who have the handle and didn't handle you well. But salvation will tell you that even though he denied me till Peter too, he was saved. Jesus set the example. He said that when he raised, he said, I know the disciples will come, but please tell Peter to come. Oh, but Jesus, Peter dogged you. Peter, Peter said he didn't know you. Peter said, oh man, tell Peter to come. See, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes we think God is through with people because we're through with them. Praise his name. So the salvation is really about how we treat people. And so the, 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 the text tells us about a guy by the name of Zacchaeus. And the truth is only Luke gave us an, a comprehensive story on Zacchaeus. Uh, Matthew, Mark, and John didn't bother to go to his story because it wasn't really in keeping with the gospel. But Luke thought it was very essential to talk about Zacchaeus and his story. Uh, the text introduces to Zacchaeus, ladies and gentlemen, and it tells us a few things about Zacchaeus in the introduction. It tells us that Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Praise his name. It tells us further on the text that Zacchaeus was a son of Abraham. Oh, praise his name. So he was a tax collector, that's his position. He was a son of Abraham that speaks to his nationality. Ah, he was a rich. Ah, that speaks to his status. But he was short. That speaks to his defense. Ah, he, his position was good. His nationality was good. His status was good. But he was short. He had many advantages, but one disadvantage. 
one disadvantage, disadvantage and defect. He was sure. And so, might I suggest, ladies and gentlemen, that Zacchaeus did what he was doing to try to make up for his shortness. Yes, 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 yes. He collected tax from the Jews on behalf of the Romans. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say with me a little bit, please. I promise this with this. He collected tax from the Jews, from his own people. But he was rocking for the Romans. He was robbing his own people. And the truth of the matter is, the way he was collecting tax, one of his intentions was to pad his own pockets. Oh, praise his name. Oh, praise his name. So he made good money. He was in a good job. He was a son of Abraham, but he was short. Oh, praise his name. And so the Bible calls us to understand that uh, if we're not careful by reading this text, we will get to a place where we crave money in order to make our status and our statue look good. Am I in the right church? Am I in the right church? Or oh, praise his name. And so his problem is that he was robbing his own people. So he craved position with the wrong motive. He wanted position so that he could rob his own Ah, uh, uh, Reverend Whitley, the truth is that sometime in church, we create positions for the wrong reason. And, and, and our churches are struggling because people only want titles so that they can feel entitled. Stay with me, I promise you. People want title so that they can have the power of entitlement. Do you know who I am? Do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who you're dealing with? Look at the neighbor asking, who are you? Sometimes we come to church acting like we're all that and about the church. We come in the presence of the Lord acting like position automatically make us entitled. Position, amen, automatically put us in a place where we can dog other people, where we can deal with other people bad, where we can rob other people and feel good about it. Oh, praise his name. So he had the wrong motive. So he craved position to hide his shortness. wanted position so that he could hide the fact that he was short because he wanted something that makes him look tall. Oh praise his name. Oh praise his name. And the Bible calls us to understand that because of this title changed his disposition. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't let the titles get to your head. Oh, let me talk to people in the back, please. It seems like only they want to hear the word. Do not let titles change your disposition. Do not let titles move you from, from a place of humility to a place of hostility. Uh, I feel like I want to preach this word. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't let Change who you are. Oh, praise is not You see, there will still be a few of us. Well, if you call us Brother Simon, it's fine. And we ain't going to tear the tent down. Because you didn't address us by time. 
Church, if you know that you're short, uh, 
in the back uh, complaining uh, as you sit on the front. Uh, ain't nobody can block you. Uh, I wish I was in the right shirt. Zacchaeus as a short man had a decision to make that the tall people didn't have to make. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. I want to submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that there comes a time in your life when you've got to make a decision that everybody else don't have to make. Have you ever gotten to a personal space in the presence of the Lord? They say, hey, I don't know about you, but I you and see Jesus. So guess what? Excuse me. I'm going to try to run up a little further and praise his name. If I'm going to see Jesus, I've got to move from beside people who ain't serious about Jesus. I want you to know everybody showed up to see Jesus. But the short man said, I'm going to run on a little more. I'm going to lose the crowd. Sometimes when you need your miracle, you may lose the crowd. You shall be preaching here. When you need your breakthrough, you may lose the crowd. You got to move away from the crowd and get to a place where you can see Jesus and praise his name. Bible say God remove John from the crowd and praise his name. Put him in the eyes of darkness. Sometimes God will shift you. Have a seat, please. I got about two more points to make, then I'll take my seat. Zach just had to make a decision yeah. that the crowd couldn't make for him. He said, I gotta run down so I can go out. Bishop said, I find a way. I find a way to see Jesus. And the Bible said that he ran down and he saw a sycamore tree. I might as well just tell you that the sycamore tree is about 75 to 100 feet tall. It wasn't no short tree. It was a tall tree. And Zacchaeus, hallelujah, said, I don't really want Jesus to see me, but I want to see Jesus. So I want to go high enough that I don't have to disturb him. I don't have to trouble him. All I want to do is see who this Jesus is. Zacchaeus went way up into the tree while he was there. I wish 
siamo sotto il rocio, cioè, you got the fool, ma ci non ho l'uomo di tua, you got the two things to say, to get your breakthrough, two things to say, to get your liver, you got the chain of water. So he climbed into the tree. In order to get Jesus' attention, you've got to do things that other people won't do. I ain't doing all that, that's fine, I'll do it. I ain't going that far, that's all right, I'll go. Because I'm really trying to get Jesus' attention. Oh, praise his name. So he climbed up. And when Jesus got under the tree, Truth is, if the tree well, was a hundred feet tall, it shouldn't be easy to see a short man in a hundred feet of tree. Oh, praise this name. But I want you to understand that before Zacchaeus moved off from the crowd, as short as he was, Jesus saw him. Lord help you, Lord. You see, Zacchaeus couldn't see Jesus. The Zacchaeus was short, but Jesus could see Zacchaeus because he's omnipresent. I wish I could preach to the church. Sometimes your shortness will stop you from seeing Jesus, but ain't nothing that can stop Jesus from seeing you. Have you ever been there when you can't see him? You don't know where he is. I can you know, even when you can't see him, he's already there. He's always looking out for you. Always busy opening doors. Now you don't even see him. You don't have to worry. He takes good care. When Jesus got to the tree, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, See, preacher, the Bible is coming. Ask a question. How did Jesus know that it was Zacchaeus? But I don't need Bible school for that. Zacchaeus was the biggest thief in town. Everybody knew him. Oh, you know, and you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need to go into theology to try and figure it out. Zacchaeus robbed everybody. So everybody knew him. He was the number one TV guy. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, not just come down, but make haste. Because you're 100 feet in the And if you're going to get a breakthrough, you better come down real quick. For today I must abide at thy house. Oh, praise his name. I'm going to close my little Sunday Bible. And then I'm going to get out of your face. Oh, praise his name. And so the Bible said that the people murmured. Reverend White, it almost blew my mind. Because from the text start, the people never say one word. You never hear one word from the people. But as soon as Jesus called, amen, Zacchaeus, I said, today, I'm coming to your house. Everybody start to complain. Have you ever been there when nobody saw you until Jesus make an appointment with you? I might as well just preach this. Nobody saw you until Jesus called you. Nobody saw you until Jesus moved you from that low place into a higher place. Jesus says, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today. I'm coming home with you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, Jesus is coming home with me. When Jesus comes to my house, everything is going to be different. When Jesus comes to my house, everything is going to change today. Because we know people hurt and we condemn them. We get upset when Jesus tries to save them. Because 
Because we know people mess. And we already right now. We get mad. Because how can Jesus call you when I've already written you up? I wish you just hunt your neighbor and tell your neighbor, don't write me up yet. I just get a call for a next chance. Don't call me up your brother. Don't write me off yet. I just get a call for an interview. Don't write me off yet. I just see a fair person calling my name. Don't write me off yet. Got the hand of God. It's on my life. Don't write me off yet. Cause God is not finished. Thank you for lifting me. 
coming down. Jesus is in I come to let you know that your next miracle is coming in haste. Jesus help me. I said your next breakthrough is coming in haste. Is there anybody that wants a good miracle? Jesus, I wish I was in the right church. Is there anybody that need a good breakthrough? Is your want to quit? Open them up and shout that you already have. Let the devil know. Let the devil know. I want Jesus to come home with me too. 
is the one that will come and I can say, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come. Somebody worship, still worship church. This is a Teddy Crusade. This is, this is where I feel. We're in a rare zone. We're in the spirit of God. You are in a rare zone. It's the one that will say, I want Jesus to come up with me. Even though they've ruined me off. They left me for dead. They gave up on me. And I want Jesus to come home with me. Would you come on down? Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands and worship. Somebody clap your hands and worship. I want him to leave that. I want him to leave that. If you are not yet received the Holy Ghost, come on down. Hey, my son, do somebody worship God. Bishop, I realize that there's a shift in the apostolic church. Because we have caused people of the Holy Ghost to be too comfortable. And you're trying to play cute because you don't want nobody to know that you don't get it. But I told you in the start of the song that when a woman is pregnant, she changes her attitude on the outside to reflect what's in the inside. So you can't fool nobody but yourself. If you have never spoken in tongues as a spirit give utterance, come on down. Come on down, wherever you are, just come on down. Just come on down, wherever you are. Somebody clap your hands, they're coming down. They're coming down, wherever you are, just come on down. Wherever you are, just come on down. Lila Vasa Yosha. Lila Vasa they're coming down. Somebody worship God. Somebody give God glory. Somebody give Him praise. Don't stop praising Him. Don't stop praising Him. They're coming from everywhere. They're coming from everywhere. Don't stop giving God praise of Him. Hallelujah to God. God said, today I must abide at your house. Zacchaeus today is your name for our salvation. Zacchaeus. Oh, come. Oh, come. Oh. Still waiting for you to come. Still waiting for you to come. No, 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 no. I'm still waiting for you to come today. I must abide in thy house. Hallelujah. The text started. The text started with Zacchaeus trying to see Jesus. And the text ended with Jesus trying to see Lazarus, Zacchaeus. Starting with Zacchaeus trying to see Jesus. And with Jesus trying to see Zacchaeus. I know that you might have just come tonight to see Jesus. But the cycle has shifted. Jesus wants to see you. Jesus on the sea. Ah. It was not just blood. I found black or spot. Yes, black. Yes, black. It was not just blood. For it was the sin.
from the spirit. I call it. Oh, 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 oh,
sure there's only one I ever felt to. You're not yet saved, but you'd love to be saved if you end up like this. You're not yet saved. Don't look at nobody. You're not yet saved, but you'd love to be saved if you end up all the way up like this. Lift it up. Don't look around. Don't look around. It's a personal conviction. Zacchaeus had to leave the crowd. Is there one person? Is there one person? Is there one? Have you asked? So God's question Tell your father Listen to me Have you heard Your reservation For eternity If God does not If you love Tell me
meeting now. Somebody point in this direction. You are not all gone. Somebody point in this direction. As we cover this preacher tonight, we cover him in the name of Jesus. The blessings of the Lord be upon you and your ministry shall be extended. We pronounce a blessing upon you. Go forth in the name of the Lord. God bless you, church. We want to take your hands together and give God thanks for tonight. And the Spirit of the Lord is moving. The Spirit of the Lord is moving as we take it down. We just want to say thanks to everyone, but especially the preacher for the inspiration tonight. I want to thank the choir sirs, the different choirs that came in tonight to minister. Karis Brooks, we bless God for you. And Mount Pelia and our home says that pledge to stick to it for the two weeks that we have. And so you've been doing fine, so we ask you to continue as we press forward in this ministry. For those online, we are grateful that you stayed up with us. We invite you to come back tomorrow night. God bless you as we take it down. God bless you. Come back tomorrow night. Link with a friend as we go forward. Tonight, tomorrow night promises to be great. We might change the gender tomorrow. So come on out. Come on out and be blessed. God bless you, God bless you. We thank our technician for taking care of We trust that God will endow strength in him. God bless you.